Let's go, guys. Today I'm uh, with Peter. Uh, Peter from uh, Strangle Wire is the main singer. Yeah, the vocalist. Welcome, Peter. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking the time to uh, speak to me. Let's go for it. So this is actually the second interview this year with uh, a band from Belfast. All right. Could yeah, you? Okay. Do you know what's the other one? I don't know. Okay, maybe hazard a guess, but I'll probably get it wrong. The most, uh, the most famous, maybe. I'm afraid to say that now, in case I offend someone. It wasn't the crawling, no. No, it's no. therapy. Therapy. All oh, right, really famous then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, and plus, uh, it's one of my favorite band ever since I'm, I'm a teen. So I was very pleased to to have Andy on the interview on on La TV. But we we like also to have a, a rock band, but also death and brutal death metal. Could we say that you are a brutal death metal band? Yeah, that, that was certainly that was certainly my opinion to some degree. Um, a lot of the reviews coming in from the album are now uh, really quoting old school old school influences um, such as Cannibal Corpse, Aspects and Bolt Thrower and we seem to be falling under that old school death metal umbrella which is totally fine by us maybe maybe we are more old school than what we thought you know so yeah we'll run we'll run with old school at the moment <laughs> okay the, the band is uh, five years old uh, tell yes. me if I'm wrong right yep yeah. so uh, this is actually your second album right Yeah, it's we did. We originally released a two-track, seven-inch single, for want of a better term, um, and then we released uh, the Dark Triad, which was um, in between, I suppose, an EP and an album. It was a bit of a mini CD with the two tracks off the off the wee seven-inch uh, plus four more, and that was the Dark Triad. Um, so this is the first full length. Okay. Actually, what's the What's the the situation in in Belfast with the with the metal scene um, as death metal is the case? Yeah, it's certainly for um, extreme music. You know, it's it's always been quite healthy. It, it kind of goes in peaks and troughs. You know, at the moment there's our sales Insidious Void and the Crawling Here uh, Death Doom Band. Um, there's more black metal bands actually emerging at the moment as well, you know. So no, there's there's definitely a healthy uh, metal scene in general. But um, yeah, there's a lot of extreme metal bands um, in Northern Ireland. You know, there really are. So tell us uh, about the yeah you you recorded the by your side this album and you mixed and mastered um, masterized uh, the the album uh, by Chris Fielding, who worked with. Uh, Napalm Death, Electric Wizard. So how was the recording process? Um, it was brilliant. We went over to Full Studio in Wales um, and that's where we, we recorded it. That was Chris Fielding who, well, recorded us, produced it and all those other words I don't understand. Um, so it was great. We went over there for eight days. Uh, we've worked with Chris twice before. So um, he knows our music. He knows us. He knows how we work. We know how he works, you know. So it was really relaxed productive um and yeah no no issues at all and, and there never is recording with chris you know even the the first time that we recorded with him it was the first time i think we'd probably been in a studio on a pro producer of that level and it was just like wow that was really simple you know so uh it, it went absolutely great there's there's generally no issues with it it couldn't have gone better if i'm honest what did you try to improve on, on this recording Um, we brought a bit more, a lot of the time, certainly for the first two recordings. Um, we took, uh, Chris had an awful lot of input into right down to the, the heads and things that we used. In fact, I think we even used one of his snare drums, if memory serves me correctly. You know, this time around, um, because it was the album, we just thought, right, we'll bring over, Ross brought over his own head. Um, uh, John, John brought over his own snare and he used that for the recording. Um, I think personally for me, I wanted to kind of mix up the vocals a wee bit. There's, um, I'm not the most diverse vocalist in the world by any stretch, but certainly after the Dark Triad, as much as I, I love that CD, um, 
when I listened back to it, uh, the vocals were just a wee bit. It's just like, oh, I think I might need a bit more color there. So this time around, my personal goal was to just be have a wee bit more variance in the vocals. And again, I think we achieved it. Um, a massive part of that, again, was due to Chris's guidance, who um, I love working with when it records the vocals because of the amount of input he's willing to put in. You know, it's fantastic. Um, and the reviews are been um, picking up on that, you know, that there is a wee bit more diversity in the previous releases. So, um, that was certainly one change that I wanted to make, you know. Uh, by the way, where is the where is the studio actually? Uh, it's in Wales. Uh, Welsh pool. My geography is terrible, by the way. Okay, so I I believe it's in around Welsh pool in Wales, somewhere like that, you know. So let us know about the um, uh, yeah the is it a concept album kind of concept album? Um, it, it certainly yeah the. I think for me it was to try to do an album about, uh, without sounding like every single other heavy metal band under the sun, was human suffering, but also um, more so about how how people cope with the suffering, you know, in ways that serve them well in the short term, but not so much the um, the long term, you know. So that's kind of, hopefully that's reflected in the lyrics, you know, just the difficulties that people face and how they cope, you know, and sometimes how people cope can actually make their issues even worse you know so it's about um the human psychology right yes uh, that's uh, i know i write all the lyrics and i have a massive interest in that you know so um i find the lyrics i like to write meaningful lyrics certainly that are meaningful to myself anyway you know so a lot of it's um is about the darker psychological side of things you know of, of human experience i suppose and again how this how this um how these difficulties come out in people's coping behaviors Okay, what did you, what did you, what did inspire you for 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 those lyrics and the, the I would say the the dark side of the moon. Um, I've I've always had an interest um, in psychology, you know, w without a doubt. I think it's more even from the lyrics are based on I suppose composites as opposed to one person, you know, just the various people that I speak to and I've met and general conversations and friends and family, everything, when you talk about the difficulties that people face, you know, um, and then just observations through other people and things you hear about, you know. Um, again, there's probably quite a bias towards the negative ways of coping, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a heavy metal album, you know, it would be happy and stuff. So that would be a main thing. It's just um, what I hear and see in other people. Um, so what's the, what's the program for for uh, for this album uh will you tour and um, have you ever been um, outside uk for for shows yeah and uh, that's that's certainly the plan anyway um based in ireland it can be quite tricky especially as a as a smaller band as well you know we've we've gone onto the mainland um on a number of occasions you know and we're hoping to head back there early next year um we've been to the states and we did two weeks in the States about, I think that was maybe 2018, and when and to support the Dark Triad. And what else did we have? Uh, we were over in uh, Madrid on the Decimation Fest too, um, many moons ago, well, a couple of years ago now. Um, so at the minute, I think our plan is to focus on the UK primarily, um, but also in the hope to start um, getting into mainland Europe, you know, which is where we we haven't done very many shows there. Um, I think we've done about two in total and we loved it. And it's just like, yeah, we'd, we'd like to get back there, you know. So the plan is to start getting our heads down now. Now that the album's out and we've got all the all that side of things done, it's now to turn our attention to, um, well, sorting out bookers and then booking our own shows, you know. So if you have to tour with a famous band in first part of uh, what would be the this band? Uh, I, th I, th I think it would be Cal Decapitation. That's a band that I would, um, I would love the tour with. We, we played with them quite recently um, in Dublin and all the guys in the band are a fan of them, you know, but certainly after, that was the first time I actually got to see them live and I, I, I love their music, you know, I just think they're just one of the top extreme metal bands at the moment, you know, so um, yeah, that, that, that would be the dream tour, supporting Cal Decapitation on a European tour. So if you can make that happen, That'd be great. That'd be great. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, it's a great band life. Yeah, it would. 
Um, any, what are the plans for um, this fall and next year? Um, next year, I say we're in the process of sorting out um, getting back to the UK. That would be um, one of the easiest places that we can get into at the moment. It's where we have some pretty good fall, uh, a, a pretty good following. We've spent the past couple of years um, going back and forth to try to establish a name in the UK. You know, and we've there's been a lot of um, support coming from that and or coming from the mainland and support of the album you know certainly where a lot of the orders have been going and things you know so that's given us an idea of some of the areas where huh people actually like us there that's fantastic you know um so that that's going to be the big thing to say the idea the, the the plan is to get um onto mainland europe you know and to try to find a burger or something that affects so we can spend more time right there you know um but at the same time we also I think it's it makes sense to grow our name where we can reach easily, I suppose. And so that'll probably be across England, Scotland and Wales to begin with, you know, and then branching out further from that. 